What's good, everybody? I'm chilling in a old LeBron Cavs practice jersey for this one. Uh, it's gonna be a different kind of thing. I'm just gonna go through a shoe that I've I got a couple few weeks ago and I have not gotten a chance to talk about, but I love it. And um, if you don't know, I am a avid basketball player. I consider myself to be you know the goat at the local gym when it comes down to it got a nice little little sweet jumper got you know a little money under the rim all that good stuff so you know if you ever want to come through challenge me we'll play but getting into this we're gonna to talk today about the lebron 17 graffiti the shoe released on june 25th I copped it off of finish line, I think, and then I got another pair off of sneakers because they, I think, I don't know if they did a restock or if they just had some extra ones, but they had my size again. So um, I got another pair because I run through these like crazy. So this is the current line of LeBron, obviously, which releases usually in the fall. And this one actually takes cues from a LeBron that came out in 2006 almost exactly like it which is crazy uh, the graffiti right here all along the side uh, inspired by NYC graffiti artists everything down to the pull tab this nice suede back here this new buck I know it's actually new buck new buck and the strap which is th this is why I really want to talk about this shoe because the strap is ridiculous and the strap goes up here for that extra added support and you can lace all the way up Oh, it's got, I didn't even notice the line. The line's right there. Boom. And you can strap up here. And lacing system pretty much the same. This has the round laces, not the flat ones like the other LeBrons do. Like most of the LeBrons. This is the um, LeBron Force, uh, which kind of you know kind of highlights more. You can see it's translucent. I got a, like I said, I got a bunch of pairs of these. I love them. I uh, haven't been playing much, but you know, whatever. Uh, right into it the zoom air two zoom air unit pockets right here one and two oh almost full length air max this is a sort of an air max 270 unit uh, that they created a hybrid for the lebron and, uh, something you should know about this this was actually refined uh, i have another pair that i ball in where the 270 unit is much higher so or much bigger the bubble so it sticks out more this is more inward and kind of flatter uh, they refined it for LeBron himself during the season because I believe he didn't care for the way the traction worked on the shoe and then we have uh, I'll, I'll show you this this shows the exposed air zoom units so you'll see one and two on the back here so these are great, you know, um, for the big man on the court. Gives you a little bit more of that court feel and comfort. Uh, back here with the, um, the regular Air Max unit, you get that support. A little bit more of that support. And when you jump down, it feels not necessarily like a cloud, but a little bit more pillowy. And what I like most about this particular model is the strap. And it has the classic LeBron logo which I will try to get in there like that. Look at that. That's the cal. I mean, it's kind of dark, but you know, you get in the light a little bit. That's the classic LeBron logo. This is a great shoe overall. Oh, Battle Knit. Battle Knit 2.0. Let's forget. Let's not forget about that. Battle Knit 2.0, which is way more elastic y and I think more firm and supportive. Uh, for the money, these are great. And I advise any anybody who takes their ball in series, especially indoors, uh, cop these because you will definitely enjoy the way they feel on the court and everything um, they're very durable one thing I don't particularly care for is the traction and a lot of reviewers said the traction on these suck uh, but for me not so much of a big deal because I push you know pushing more forward than going side to side I don't cut as much and I you know, just go straight up to the hoop so there ain't much there for me when it comes to the traction but again my regular driver is the LeBron I go out in these all the time I uh, these right, right here I have about six pairs I rotate out three at a time and I'm still holding on to a bunch of pairs I get crazy with LeBron shoes every year 
yeah this lebron graffiti 17 is nice yeah the nike has put out various lebron graffitis not necessarily with this style this is the most elaborate styling i've seen of a graffiti and um they did it with the 11 the 15 the 6 and obviously the 4 and the 4 looks almost exactly like this which is crazy i think the only real difference is uh the soul soul is just different technology really and knitting and soul and, and, and obviously the knit I, don't, I, I think they use leather on the old one so this is a much lighter you know uh the battle knit 2.0 is, is lighter and more durable uh material for um performance every year the lebron line pushes the limits of tech and styling and shoes they keep looking crazier and crazier every time they come out and they look crazier are these casual i mean you could actually rock this casual you put the right fit together uh i never i can't wear these with shorts unless i'm bowling when i put them on with with sweats and stuff like that i could go casual but sometimes you know these like these right here i think these would get away casual these are dope this is you know the um the command force or whatever uh, the speckles and all that stuff i i enjoy the line i ball in them all the time it's, it's lebron he's the greatest ever man the greatest ever let us know what you think in the comments leave a like leave a subscribe we're going to come back with better content, more content, all the time. And thank you, everybody, for the love on the Road Warrior ISPA video. You know, I didn't expect it to do the numbers it did so early on. And i um, hoping that uh, we can keep doing videos like that where you're going to go in-depth about a shoe that's coming out. I feel like some of the suggestions we've gotten for videos uh, have been very helpful. And taking all of that and trying to do a creative twist on it uh, and try to just not be like other sneaker channels you know I could do unboxings I could show you all the hype shoes and all the other junk but it's not really the lane that we want to go with this we want to be creative we want to be able to tell people about things that aren't out yet and give our opinions or my opinion at least on all that and also just you know have fun I want to have fun I want to do more videos like this where I can show you a shoe that I like and tell you a little bit more about it and just enjoy the culture yeah I really want to know what everybody feels we've got a small subscriber base right now but it's growing daily and from the response from the last few videos we've done you know it's been great I want to keep doing videos like that and be more creative and 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 show y'all a peek into the world that I live in when it comes to sneakers and fashion so you know we're gonna do a lot more when it goes goes into that and just tell us what you want to see and we'll try to accommodate that but until then you know just stay tuned and we're gonna keep coming with more heat all right like and subscribe don't forget bye